when I grew up, you know, like most of people at, at my age, we grew up in the war. So uh, we deal a lot with death and loss, and mom and gunfire. I was 16 then, and I was living in a very big, comfortable house. It's not even a house, it was a big villa with 24 rooms. So I moved from uh, a big house like that to a tiny small house in another city in a matter of days. The only person that uh, knows uh, the time that I escaped is my mom. Nobody else, even my brother and sister, friends, because in the communist society, we don't trust nobody. We don't trust anybody at all because they can report for credit and, you know, they create a society that doubt everybody ar around you. One day I went home and my mom said, um, you have to go right now. And she just gave me one bag and like she just took a, necla a gold necklace from her neck and just took it and just sew it really quick into my, um, my uh, shirt so I would not lose it and then go, go, go. And I just ran like that and get on the um, a motorcycle. Somebody would took me to that, um, uh, uh, not a motorcycle, on a bike and somebody would took me to the sea area where I would get on a boat, a small one first. Like it was like mm, not even a boat at that time. It was like a kind of very small one. In, in the dark, we had to um, go from that small boat to a bigger one and then left. The captain and two like a sailor, they all have seasick because the, the wave is so big. Everybody have a seasick. And luckily, I was the only one who was, who was not seasick. So I started to drive the boat. I never drive the boat before in my life. For five days, we had no food, no water, nothing. So I was so tired and I couldn't handle it. So I was almost dead. And many people were attacked by the pirates, like your daddy, you know, your, your daddy was attacked by the pirate many times. The, the, the pirate's land is the, um, the Gulf of Thailand. That's the worst place that people uh, want, want to go. So when, when they attack, attack the boat first, they, they, they try to find all the money or the gold or the diamond that you, you have. They take away everything, and second is they're gonna rape the people, they rape the women, you know, that's the worst thing. Then, then that is the part that people get killed. And suddenly one person say, a ship, a ship is coming. So people start to stand up and try to watch, and we saw a big, big ship coming. At that time, I could speak French very well, and the, the people on the ship speak French. So I suddenly, like like magic, I was able to just suddenly stand up there and and shout to the people on the ship, say, um, because they say they would not rescue us. I was so scared to be left alone again in in the the, the boat. So I just pop up like magic and I, I I shout real loud. I say, you know what? You could not um, leave all the these children. Uh, like die, you couldn't. You you had a chance to uh, save people. You have a chance to save women, uh, young girls, young babies. So they say, are you sure you have children on the boat? And I say yes. So I told all the women in the in the boat to say, pick up your children and show it to the people on the boat on the big ship. The one that uh, hunted me for a long time, the escape trip, because um, I feel like I need to do something to help those girls. I am the only one who is not affected by the sea seasick, so I take care of everybody. So they, uh, they, they, they feel like I am a kind of like a, a leader to them or somebody that can uh, help them, you know. So when the girls 
uh, get 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 raped or you know the people you know, the, the girl get take away from from their parents you know then instead of asking their parents to help them you know they just call my name say can you help me can you help me help me and they just call my name and I feel helpless I can I feel like I need to do something but if I I stand up you know they, they will shoot me so like I just feel like uh, I need to do something I obligate to save them but I but I didn't and I feel like uh, I am like uh, a um, a failure or something you know I so I I feel that and I heard that all the time in, in my sleep when I sleep you know I feel like a uh, help me help me you know and call call my name and tell them to, to help me and I f always feel fa feel um, helpless for like a 10 years So Jennifer, tell me, what is the lesson you learned from the boat people? Um, the lesson I learned from the boat people is that um, even though they came here empty-handed, they still succeeded, so I should succeed too, because chat, chat.